Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the English class. How are you? How are you today? How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, I'm glad for that. And how's the weather like? How, how's the weather? It's, how's the weather? Is it's raining? Yes, teacher. It's raining, right? It's been raining for you know a couple of of hours. It's been raining here. I I think since uh, five p.m. like between five five thirty, it started to rain a lot here, and uh, it was raining. But it refreshes uh, the weather, <laughs> so it's, it's like a better. Well, it's a pleasure, you know, to be here with you uh, today in our classes. We we have like one minute to start and definitely because of the weather is very nice. Okay, let's wait your partners to join us uh, today in this class. And let's let's wait that they are going to join us as soon as possible because it's eight. Um, exactly the time to start our class. Uh, also, uh, we just have this week to finish this model. Ya estamos, eh, bueno, esta semana para terminar el módulo uno. Así que eh, it's important uh, to give you some instructions, some information that is going to be valuable. Uh, tomorrow I will explain you about the one uh, evaluation. This is an encuesta de satisfacción que vamos a realizar. Y es una encuesta muy importante para Insapor, ya que hay tres pilares que son fundamentales en este proceso de, de, de nuestras clases. El primero que es eh, cuando nos enfocamos en la asistencia, un 80% para arriba. Eh, la, las actividades también que tenemos pendientes de activities, también un 80% para arriba, no menos de 80. Y la encuesta de satisfacción que es súper importante en el cual usted hace una evaluación sobre diferentes eh, aspectos que hemos tenido en este curso y en el cual los que vienen posteriormente. Así que, eh, it's, that's why it's, it's very important to work in that, you know, this this kind of, uh, uh, you know, poll. In, in English, it is a poll. Para referirme a una encuesta, it's a poll. So that's why it's necessary, you know, to be ready, to be active, also be motivated to go on with this class. And this is what we have to do. And look at the name que hacer, right? All the time going, working hard, trying to do the best and also with motivation. Así que es importante que tengamos en cuenta la motivación, que es muy importante. The motivation can open uh, many doors for success. That is one of the things that we just need to, uh, to take into account, right? La motivación es muy importante. El esfuerzo que tengamos y todas las cosas que pues, vamos cada día aprendiendo, ya que hay, hay momentos que son un poquito más eh, pesados que otros, pero lo importante es que ahí vamos. Muy bien, vamos a iniciar eh, con un backup about the last class. I just want to ask you about what we started in the last class. ¿Qué estudiamos en la clase anterior? ¿Quién me quiere dar un pequeño feedback? ¿Qué se recuerda? ¿Qué tema vimos? ¿O qué hicimos? ¿O qué actividad hicimos? Para que me ayuden y pues me den ideas. Ok. Hi, teacher. Ok, thank you. Vocabulary practice, scramble the word and describe them your partner. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, somebody else would like to add something else. Alguien más que quisiera agregar algo más? También para, para, para aportar un poquito acerca de qué es lo que hicimos en la clase eh, anterior.
look at this. Okay. As a feedback of the last class, as a feedback of the last class, como pequeña, pequeña retroalimentación, eh, estudiamos un poquito acerca de, de, de video conference number 15 about eh, vocabulary practice. En este caso era, un, era una práctica acerca de la unidad 3, que es where do you work? So it was a backup about this activity. So you talk about different eh, aspects related to this part. As Veronica said before, we just have a time to talk about different activities respecting the time and the date. It's important. So we work in this activity. We identify some uh, departments. So we studied the departments as a backup because we have studied this before. Estudiamos eh, lo que es eh, un pequeño backup de de los departments, what kind of departments, production department, eh, engineering department, so communication department, technical department, eh, human resources, eh, production. So, hablamos un poquito acerca de eso y, y hicimos como una pequeña competition acerca de los de estas actividades, ¿verdad? Como podemos ver acá, accounting, right? And also we wrote some equations using the double equation. So we just had an opportunity to socialize about the some questions that you wrote and you ask those questions to your partners. Eh, compartimos un poquito esta información de sus compañeros. Eh, we, use, we wrote some questions using what, when, where, why, which, and who. Eran las eh, double equations that we selected eh, to make some questions. That was actually important uh, to work with that part, definitely. Uh, ¿Qué más hicimos? We go up that. Uh, we wrote some, go back. Yeah, so we wrote some information, some activities about, you know, typical day at work. So we wrote uh, what, we, what we do in the morning, what activities in the afternoon, and what activities in the evening. We didn't at nine because nobody's going to be working at nine. There are some special cases in which people work at nine, but in this case, This is the section, it's going to be the evening. Entonces, eh, compartíamos un poquito acerca de qué actividades usted realizaba, en qué momento, si los hacía eh, en la mañana, cuál era la fecha de actividades que hacía. So, you discuss about it. So, that was a very interesting experience uh, talking about that, right? So, this is uh, one of the things that we socialize about the unit uh, 15, uh, number three. And where do you work? Now we have a different topic. We have a different unit. And let me introduce the unit right now for you guys. Just give me one moment, please, right away. Meanwhile, uh, we work in the next video conference that is related for today's class. Okay, as we know, uh, always, always uh, take a time for practicing English. Like two hours are very important to take a uh, two hours class, it's challenging, but at the same time, it's very beneficial because we can learn, we can study, we can reinforce different content. So we're talking about a everyday process. And the unit is addresses and places. That is going to be a part of the, part of the today's class. Okay, let me see here. What is the material? Also, I sent it to you like an hour before. This material for you to practice here in the class. Let's see, let's see here, one second. Okay, much better here. Look at this. It says, uh, video conference 16, how to use prepositions of place. In the last class, we were studying the preposition of time. We use at for a precise moment, for a, a specific time, usamos at, usamos in for years, Uh, for period of time, also uh, for months, we use in, and we use on for months and dates, and also for days of the week, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday. So we talk about that. But today, we're going to study the prepositions of place. That is different because 
the meaning of the preposition is going to be totally different. Eh, el significado, en este caso, va a ir enfocado a preposiciones de lugar, ¿verdad? Cuando me refiero en, en aquel lugar, en este lugar, entonces aquí usamos prepositions of place. Aquellos eran de tiempo y ahora estos son de lugar. And also, we can see the new unit. The new unit is called addresses and places. That's the name of the unit, addresses and places. So we're talking about direcciones y lugares. That's the name of this unit, direcciones y lugares. Let's just start now with the first activity right now. And then we're going to pass the attendant list right now for you guys. Look at the general objective to describe the location of me, in this case, and others and others' workplace. So we're talking about where we work, what we do, the location where we work. Hoy vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de dónde trabajamos, en qué lugar, what's the address. Look at this. And also, I will be able to, I will be able to describe the location of my of me in other workplace. My and others workplace. En este caso, seré capaz de describir mi ubicación y de otros en el lugar de trabajo. Es decir, donde está ubicado, where it's located, so we're going to create an address. Okay, for this, we're gonna move. And also, we have the first activity. Look at this. Warm-up activity. Ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also, mention where you work and its location too. So, and this is what you had to do today, guys. You're going to describe where you work and also your partner's work. Eso es, eso es lo que haríamos en esta clase. Usted le va a preguntar a sus compañeros a dónde ellos trabajan, dónde trabajan, y cuál es la ubicación en the location. We, we say it in English, location, that is como la ubicación. Entonces, la pregunta es, where, where do you work? Y entonces usted dice, okay, I work in this company, I work in this company, I work in this company. Ok, tenemos la primera pregunta, where do you work? Y la segunda es pregunta, where is located? Where do you work? I work in, in this company. Ok, and where is located? ¿Dónde está ubicada? Esa sería la pregunta. This is the question that you will uh, socialize with your partners. Ok, it is located. Y usted pues va a responder. Um, it is located. Y comienza a dar la dirección. Eh, en este caso, esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Para eso, voy a mostrarles algo acá rapidito, like a chart. Ok, look at this. Tenemos eh, un ejemplo acerca de, de cómo mencionar, por ejemplo, avenidas. En inglés es Second Avenue. Entonces usted dice Avenue. Eh, Arnulfo Romero Avenue, eh, Barrios Street, eh, Barrios Street, First Avenue, Second Avenue. Roosevelt Street, Various Street. Entonces, usted va a guiarse a través de las direcciones. Usted va a pensar dónde está ubicado y va a intentar traducir la dirección. Si hay algún nombre, eh, por ejemplo, si es algún nombre de alguna calle, eh, usted lo puede utilizar en español porque son nombres propios. Es decir, los nombres, del, nombres propios, eh, por ejemplo, hay una calle, como en México decimos, la calle Benito Juárez. Usted no va a traducir Benito Juárez, sino que la, el nombre es un nombre propio. Entonces, ese no puede ser eh, traducido al, uh, en este caso al inglés, porque es un nombre propio. Lo demás sí lo puede hacer. First Avenue, Second Avenue, eh, The Corner, in the right street, in the, in the top. So you can uh, describe about that. Entonces, tenemos street para calle, avenue para avenida. So we can talk about that. It is located in, you, and you say, in this place, in this place. Entonces, le voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted eh, escriba where it's located. Y usted dice, y, eh, where do you work? I work. I work in, okay, like this. 
look at this, where I work in and where it's located. It is located and you say where it's located and you say the address. And we're going to socialize this information with our partners. Entonces va a tratar de, de escribir cuál es la dirección para llegar a su trabajo. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer en esta clase. It is uh, a little clear for you guys. No sé si está un poquito claro. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que tendríamos que hacer? Yes, teacher. Okay, una thank... pregunta, teacher. Una question. Ya. Yeah. En el caso de, de la dirección décima, décima, eh, calle ten... Poniente. Ten eh, Street. Ten Street. Mm, este... Like entre, this. Entre between, vea. Between. Between 19, 19. Ajá. Uh -huh. And 21 20. Avenue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sur, sur. South, south. South. Um, okay, thank you. All right. Yes, like this. Okay, so this is uh, one of the examples here. Look at this. Okay, so this is what we had to do. We're gonna describe the, the, the location about where we work. Meanwhile, I need to uh, pass the attendant list. So I'm going to stop um, uh, sharing here in my screen because I need to look for the attendant list. Oh, uh, just give me one moment. Meanwhile, it, it is, you know, allowed it to pass the attendant list. You listen to your name and you say present uh, to the attendant list right now. Look at this. Now, let me check here. Okay. Just work in that. Let's work in that. All right. Let me see here. Go ahead and help with this. Okay, I have the list. So to say present, uh, Adalberto Ismael Fuentes. Present teacher, solo que mire, estoy un poco varado aquí y todavía me falta agarrar otro bus, así que solo va a estar de oyente ahora. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Adriana Lisbeth Serna. Present. Uh, Ana Mercedes Amaya. Ana Mercedes. She's not here. Uh, Claudia Yesenia Palacios. Present. Uh, Donina Michelle Fuentes. Present. Thank you. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón. Present. Uh, Erika Guadalupe Castro. Present. Thank you. Um, Helen uh, Dineli Barraza. Present. Thanks. Javier Alexis Flores. Javier Alexis. Oh, he's not here yet. Catiel Mayrin Aguilar. Catiel Mayrin. She's absent too. Uh, Kevin Vladimir Gutierrez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Manuel Alberto Romero. Present. Uh, Maritza Noemi Ayala. Present. Maritza Roxana Portales. Maritza Roxana Portales. She's not. Uh, Mauricio Orlando Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Monica Lisset Chicas. Monica Lisset Chicas. She's not here. She's not Monica. Eh, Rosa Maritza Barrientos. Rosa Maritza Barrientos. 
uh, Rosie Mabel Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Veronica Elizabeth Sorto. Veronica? Present, present teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, so for those who are joining right now to the class, uh, we are working specifically in this question. Ask some classmates where they work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and where you work and its location, right? So, so what we have to do, we're going to socialize with our information with our partners. We're going to talk about where we work, a donde trabajamos, eh, el lugar de donde trabajamos, what's the name of the company, that is the the first thing that you're going to talk about. The second one is where is located? Where is located? Teacher. Yes. Poniente se dice west. West, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. East, west. Acuérdense los, los puntos cardinales, right? West, east, north, and south, right? So west, east, north, and south. Yes, east and west. Teacher. Yep. Teacher, pero sería 10 West Street. Eh, west Street. 10. Exactly, yes. Yeah, 10th. 10 West Street. Yeah, 10th. You're welcome. Like this. Like this in the in the screen. Look at this. Tent. North Avenues, which is uh south south, right? So we work in that. Okay, remember that you can ask questions uh, to, you know, to make sure some information here. So we really uh, think about that, right? Okay, so please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just uh, let me know about it, right? Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Thank you for letting me know about that. Okay, she's ready. Remember that we're gonna have a breakout room, a short time to to talk about you know the the time, you know the location, and also the name of this place. Okay, somebody else uh, who have finished. 
¿Alguien más también que pues, haya terminado? Finish, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Okay, we're almost ready. Uh, let's try, you know, five, uh, five more minutes to complete this activity. And then we're going to create the breakup rooms. The goal is to practice and produce the language. Así que vamos a casi iniciar para poder it work this activity. Okay, uh, somebody's still working on that or we begin with our activity. No sé si alguien todavía está eh, con actividad o iniciamos ya. We can start. Okay, I think we can start. Y no se les olvide, pues siempre tener activo eh, the camera. So thank you for those who have eh, active the camera. Así que... Recuerden de que es, es importante pues que tengan la cámara encendida. Muy bien, vamos a formar los breakup rooms. We're going to make small groups. So we're going to take three groups. Let me see. Okay, we're going to have five groups. We're going to have five groups of three members each. And after that, what you have to do is that you're going to uh, socialize the equations. Where do you work? Or, yeah, talking about what the name of the company. Where do you work? And that is the first one. Where do you work? And the second one is where is located? Where is located? Donde está ubicado, okay? It's located in the First Avenue, the Barrios Street, uh, number 63, San Salvador, or Santa Tecla, or Santa Ana, or San Miguel. So you mentioned that. All right, let's do it. And it's gonna be, a, you know, an easy activity is gonna take like uh, five minutes. So let's do it. Uh, Javier, okay, he's there.
Preguntemos también. Va. Where did you work? I work in San Roque Farmers. Where is it? What is, is locker? Locker. It is a locket. Uh, lo lo located? Located. 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 It, it is located ten, East 10 North Avenue for Long the Angel. Qué chiquito. <laughs> Vaya. Where do you work? I work pharmacy San Roque. Where is the lo locator? My location is 10 Avenue 1 Street 7, Sonsonate. No sé si está bien así. <ríe> Pregúntame usted otra vez, Ana, para ver si escucha el teacher y que ve si me equivoco. Con... Try it. Yeah, try it again. Pregúnteme, Gele. Where they work? I am in the world a coag de RL. I work, uh, I work in. Ahí sería I, I wo work. I work in. Ajá, uh -huh, I work. Like this. In. I work in. In I, 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 Perdón. In it is a uh, locator for this Easter and Second North Avenue number one, Barrio Centro, San Miguel. Uh, are you from San Miguel? Yes. Oh, nice, Donina. Good. Yeah, she's from San Miguel. Nice, nice, nice. I thought I thought you were from San Salvador. That's okay to live in San Miguel. All right. Uh, how's, how's the weather? How's the weather in San Miguel City? ¿Cómo está el clima? How's the weather? Ah, calor, horrible. It's very hot. Yeah, people say that in San Miguel is very hot. Okay, that's, that's comprehensive. All right, all right. Thank you. That's okay. I like it. It was good. I work at. I work at. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you. Okay. Veamos el chat. Veamos el chat. Acá la... Okay. All right. Continue, guys. I work at. I work <laughs> Eh, tenemos que hacerlo ya correctamente, ¿verdad, teacher? ¿Quién me quiere contestar? Where do you work? I work, I work at in, in San Roque Farmers. Where is Lucery? Lo, Lucery. Located. Located. Siempre me Located. It is located in 10 North Avenue, Cologne, the Angel. Pregúntale a... The, 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 the department, what department is ah, in Salvo? Ah, department, the department in Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Okay, Sonsonate department. At the department. Where do you work? I work at Pharmacy San Roque. Where is Locato? My Locato is 10 Avenue 1 Stream 7, the Pyman Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Eh, ¿Quién empieza? Bueno, teacher, ya lo dijimos todos. Lo repetimos para que se nos escuche. Yes, please. Please do me that favor. Ok. Yeah. Vale, voy a hacer entonces las, las preguntas primero a... Bueno, a Edgar. Edgar, Edgar, where, where do you work? I work in San Jose Pharmacy. Where is located? Uh, it's, it is located in Avenue North, in front of Third Cycle Jefferson, and Street to Highway to World Acajutla. Okay. Te gusta darle las preguntas a Erika. Erika, where do you work? I am work distribuidora salvadoreña. Uh, where is located? Hay avenida San Martín, Bitquip, Zip A, West Strip, Santa Tecla. Okay. Hágale la pregunta uh, a Lisbeth. Um. Esas es las preguntas no las copié. No las copié. Ajá. Lisbeth, where, where do you work? I work in Movie Plus. Uh, where is it located? It is located in Street Los Abetos, number 18, San Salvador. Okay. Yeah, that was awesome. Excellent. I really like it. That was understandable. At least you try, you know, to try an English address because we know that we all the time give an Spanish address. Pero está muy bien, la verdad. Entonces usted dice, I work, ¿verdad? Es, I work. Yo trabajo en tal lugar, si usted I work. All right, thank you guys. Great job. Okay. Gracias. All right. Thank We're you. Gonna, all right. Okay, guys, uh, that was a great part of this activity. You know, talk about address. I, I listen to some of you, you know, having a nice, you know, time to talk. Also trying to explain, you know, the address, uh, trying to focus about this one. Remember that we, all the time we use uh, Spanish addresses. So, but in English, we make a difference. Okay, we are going to go to the next part. Look at this. Listen to your teacher, read the following places on the map. So we have the bank. The pronunciation is bank. No, don't say that in Spanish, bank. No, it's bank. And then, I'm sorry. We have a bank, sport palace. Sport palace is an example. School, school. Barrios Street, Barrios Street. Mall, then we have mall. Mall that is related to Centro Comercial. In English, we call them a mall. Okay, uh, First Avenue. First 
Avenue. Park, Park. Second Avenue, Second Avenue. Church, we have a church, que en este caso es la iglesia. The city hall, the city hall, that would say, uh, city hall es como la alcaldía. That is the city hall. Tenemos Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street. Okay. Okay, we go with the next one after Roosevelt Street. Restaurant. 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 Arrows Company. Arrows Company. And Book World. Book World. Okay. So we have this one. Uh, we focus about some locations like a bank, sport palace, school, the church, the mall, the city hall, a restaurant, a company. In este caso sería una empresa, sería a company. Esta es Arrow's Company. Uh, book, book World, que sería como un lugar donde venden libros, que sería como un bookstore, pero se llama Book World. So this is a... The map, for example, most of the time we can talk about that. For example, uh, where is the bank located? Uh, where is the bank located? Si vemos el mapa, eh, ¿cómo podría ubicarme? ¿Dónde está el banco? Hay dos, hay dos eh, puntos que nos pueden servir eh, a ubicarnos. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. It's bank locator. Barrios Street, First Avenue. Aha, okay. It's located in a, on this on the Barrios Street and the First Avenue. Okay, it's it's give us a, a like a location. Nos da una ubicación. Where is the school located? It is between. Está entre. It is between the tal lugar. Entonces, where is the school located? It's, it's a school located by the strips, Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. In front of or next to, next to the next sport. Next to a sport place, palace. Okay. Yeah, next to the sport palace and the church mm -hmm. and in front of the church. Okay. Ahí sería como que enfrente, in front, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, in front of the church. In front of the church, right, and a sport palace, okay. Uh, where is the the mall located? Where is the mall located? Where is the mall located? Is 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 lo, mall located? Barrios Street, First Avenue, between bank and restaurant. Okay, it's located on the Barrios Street. Yes. And the first avenue, right? Yes. And in front of the uh, in front of the park, it podría ser como enfrente, in front of the park. Yeah, so it's a big big park right here. So we can o we sea, can talk. Be, between entre bank and restaurant si estaba bien. Yes. Okay. Could be. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Uh, between. Puede ser en medio de los dos. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, use the map to answer the question. Which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the re is the city hall on? Which street is the park on? En este caso, vamos a responder las siguientes preguntas. ¿En qué calle, en cuál calle está el restaurante? ¿O sobre qué calle está el restaurante? ¿Sobre qué calle está la alcaldía que es city hall? ¿En which street is the park on. ¿En cuál calle está el parque? Entonces, vamos a leerla. Vamos, yes. Ahí nos vamos a limitar a poner solo la calle. Yes, aquí solo nos pide la calle. Which street? Okay. No, no. They, they, they don't, that, it doesn't request the address. Ok, no nos pide la no nos pide la dirección, sino que nos pide the street. Entonces, usted puede poner, por ejemplo, para, para ampliarlo, puede ponerlo, está sobre la calle tal, y puede mencionar la avenida. You can mention the avenue. Ah, oh, it's the Barrio Street and the First Avenue. Para, para darle un poquito más de, 
de sabor, como dicen a la pregunta, para darle un poquito más de contexto, right? Así que les voy a dar unos minutitos para que conteste la pregunta por cada una en We Work It That. Okay, please uh, give me two minutes. I need to drink water. Just give me two minutes. Okay, so you can see here uh, the examples about the, you know, the map. This is the map. And also the, uh, the equations about the, the, the street. We try with this. Teacher, puedo poner el mapa. Okay, look at this. Look at the map. All right.
Ok, are you ready? ¿Estamos listos? ¿Ready? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. So, let's yes. share with the first one. Uh, the first question that I have here is, which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the restaurant? I, yes. The restaurant on Roosevelt Street and on First Avenue. Okay. Uh, it is on the First on, Street. Oh. Roosevelt. Like, ah, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Okay. okay, one second. So we're going to go back. So is in the yes we say roosevelt Street. yes okay <laughs> it's on the roosevelt street yes and and First Avenue. And the First yes. Avenue. And um, First um, Avenue. Okay, and First Avenue. Okay, like this. Okay, all right, so we just got it here. That's cool. Okay, and what is the number two students? Which street is the city hall on? It is, it is on <laughs> it is on and city hall second avenue and Roosevelt Spring and from the park. Wow, that is a nice description. Okay, uh we say it is it is on Barrios Street. Uh -huh. Second Avenue? No, Barrios Street. Barrios Street? Uh -huh. And? And Second Avenue. Uh, second Avenue. I'm from the park. Uh, on Barrios Street? And Second Avenue. And Second Avenue. in front of the front park. park in front in of the, the park. park okay in front of the park okay okay it is on the barrier street in second avenue in front oh okay. i need to miss the spelling front okay in front of the park okay so it will be like this all right, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. So it was a very clear example here. All right. And which street is the park on? Which street is the park on? All right. It is on Barrios Street between First Avenue and Second Avenue. It is uh, on Barrios Street? Between uh -huh. First Avenue and Second Avenue. First Avenue and Second Avenue. Sure. Yes. Eh, no sería entre entre uh -huh, el, pero ya le digo. Yeah, Sería uh -huh, Barrio Street between Roosevelt Street. Uh, Roosevelt Street. Vamos a ver the park. Como el park, eh, colinda con Barrios Street, Roosevelt mm -hmm. Street, First Avenue, and the Second Avenue. So it could be exactly the four of them. Podemos tomar referencia a alguno de los dos, o podemos tomar referencia a los cuatro. O, so, mm -hmm. Because it's, it's, it's in the center. It's, the, it's in the center of the city, we could say like uh, the center of this map. So it could be, oh, could be in Barrios Street, could be in the Roosevelt Street because it's next to, it's in the center. So it is okay. We can say also 
eh, barrios. Ah, entonces ya podemos aquí first and second avenue ya incluye, right? First and second avenue y también on Barrios Street y Roosevelt Street. También podríamos agregarlo. Eh, podríamos agregarlo también. Because it's in the center. It's in the center. Teacher, o oh, se puede también agregar a front the mall. También podríamos agregarle in front of the mall, o in front of the church, eh, o across from, o sea, eh, como es centro, podemos tomar varias rutas. Podemos tomar el Sport Palace, tenemos Arrows Company, in the corner of the restaurant, in the corner of the Blue World, eh, eh, ya que es, es una zona céntrica, you know, it's the center. So, también podemos hacerlo. We can do it. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Una pregunta. Yep. Eh, Se podría decir opposite corner como dirección. The opposite? Opuesto opposite. a? Ajá. El, o sea, esquina opuesta. Ok. Opposite Se corner. Podría. Yes, you can say it. The opposite corner. Yeah. Esquina opuesta. Very good. Ok. Yes. So, y as Cherry can... podría, perdón, yeah. podríamos agregar downtown si sabemos que es el centro de la ciudad o, o algo así, o el centro de ahí, mm, ¿no? No, en este caso, como, o sea, si es el downtown, tendría que ser como el lugar, es un, es un área periférica más, más grande. En este caso, aquí solo está el park, pero la zona podría ser un downtown, donde incluye todo oh. esto, ya, yeah, so, where it included. Toda esta zona podría ser un downtown. All right. Let's go with that. All right. Okay. No more questions? Questions, questions? No question, teacher. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with the next part of the class. And also, and uh, look at this. We have a listening exercise for this. I will share right now a link uh, for you guys in order to practice the following listening skill. So just give me one moment, please. Les compartiré un enlace en el cual vamos a trabajar un listening. It's a listening skill that we're going to listen and we're going to answer. Look at, look at this. One moment, please. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm sharing with you right now a link here in the chat. So please uh, confirm if you have received here the link. What I want you to do is to uh, click on it. And also I want you to, uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. One moment, please. Okay, I, I also, I want you to, uh, to listen, you know, this audio. One moment, please. Okay, look at this. Listen to people, you know, saying where some places are located on a map. Complete the exercises. In este caso, tenemos acá, when is Steve going out with Jennifer? Where is the movie theater? Where is the restaurant located? And what time does the restaurant close on Sundays? And where is the florist? Entonces, usted va a escuchar el audio y va a contestar las siguientes preguntas. 
So I will give you uh, some minutes to listen the audio and later and uh, socialize the answers here together. Okay, so everybody, we can start uh, listening the audio right now.
Hello, are you ready? Are you ready? Estamos listos, todavía no? Hello, are you ready? ¿Estamos listos? Yes, teacher. Okay, according to the listening part, I want to listen to all, all of you guys because the purpose is that you practice, right? Lo importante es que todos practiquen e interactúen. That is the goal of this. Okay, according to the first one, eh, where they are going? ¿A dónde es que van? Where they go? In this case, when? In this case, when? Cuando decimos es cuando. Cuando uh, viajan en este caso. The answer is, what answer could you get from that? What is the answer? Saturday. Saturday, teacher. All right. So it's it's include that the answer will be Saturday. All right. It's going to be Saturday. Okay. Yeah. That's that's good. Okay. The answer that will be Saturday. Number two. Uh, where is located the place? Where this place is located? When? Yes, where? Yes. They are talking about the building. Where they are talking about the building. If they are like, a, if you turn to the right, if you turn to the left, and they. What building is? Uh, what is the building? So, the, what answer the you second, have? Second, the second building. For uh, for the new hospital. Okay, uh, there is a number. They they give a number. They they give a number. Wait. It's, yeah, it's it's 12, right? Okay, it's 12. All right, cool. And the restaurant. Okay, what about the restaurant? 11. Okay. All right, good. All right, cool. And what about the other questions about the restaurant closed? So what time? What time did it close? 12 a.m. At 12, all right? 12 a.m., all right? And the florist? It's 10. It's 10, all right? Cool. You can see here, it closes at 12 and it's 10, all right? That's nice, that's nice. Okay, so we could, you know, work in that exercise. Uh, question, it was a clear listening to you. Eh, ¿Lograron comprender eh, la estructura? ¿Lo lograron comprender? Could you understand this, uh, this conversation? A mí se me dificultó cuando estaba describiendo la dirección. Mm, okay. All right. I understand. But don't worry about it because, as we know, eh, we just have, like, uh, you know, 
vocabulary that we will acquire in the process. So I think it's understandable. Lo importante es que han podido comprender eh, parte de, de, de esta conversation, ya que eh, posteriormente a través de la práctica iremos teniendo una comprensión más clara, más directa, con más vocabulary, más expressions. Pero que la hayan entendido ustedes ha sido algo bastante importante. Eh, así que vamos a la siguiente parte. Eh, pedirles por favor que tengan las cámaras encendidas. Por ahí veo eh, que están eh, varios con cámaras y pues ustedes saben que es una solicitud que Insafor hace. Así que, please, do me that favor. Ok, we're going to study the next topic. Eh, we have the next topic. It says, how to use simple uh, prepositions of place. We have the topic here. Look at this. This is the main goal for this class, right? To talk about prepositions of place. Look at this one. We have on for on Fourth Avenue, you know, on. Cuando hablamos acerca de avenidas, usamos on, right? On the corner, on the street. Por eso es que usábamos al inicio on, ¿verdad? Para referirnos sobre el lugar, right? On Fourth Avenue, on the First Avenue, on the Second Avenue, on the Third Avenue, on Rushmore Avenue, on the corner, okay? On the street, usamos on. In es para eh, lugares como el, para countries. Usamos in para countries. In El Salvador. In San Salvador. In the park. In the neighborhood. Y usamos at for eh, locations, para lugares específicos. Look at this. Sorry. This is like the introduction. Like at, a, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. Porque at se ocupa para lugares, para ubicaciones. ¿Dónde estás ubicado en este momento? Estoy en el banco, at work. Estoy en el at. trabajo, at work. Entonces usamos at para referirnos a ubicaciones, puntos de referencia. Para eso usamos at. Ah, at the mall. Yes, I am at the mall. Ah, estoy en, ah, ok, I am at the mall. Ese at me Teacher. indica un punto. Yes. At the cafeteria. At the cafeteria. I am at the cafeteria. Eh, no es tanto que estemos adentro de la cafetería, sino que el at me indica el lugar, el punto. Cuando estoy adentro, por ejemplo, en la casa, ocupamos in. I am in the living room. Para, las, para dentro de la casa, utilizamos in. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the living room. Usamos in. Pero ya vamos a ver más ejemplos para que podamos ampliar un poquito más estas preposiciones de lugar. Pero para calles, para avenidas, usamos on. Para países, eh, usamos in. También para ubicaciones eh, cercanas, como dentro, cuando estoy dentro de un lugar. I am in the park. Estoy dentro, de en el, en el, dentro del parque. In, in the park. I am in the neighborhood, porque estoy dentro del vecindario. Y at lo ocupamos para puntos de referencia. ¿A dónde tú estás? ¿Qué punto de referencia estás? Ah, I am at the mall. I am at, the, at work. I am at the bank. Well, uh, just give me one moment because I need to pass the attendance list. Once again, the second time to pass the attendance list here. Yes. Just give me one moment, please. Oh, uh, the microphone, please. Please power off the microphone. Micrófono, se escucha por ahí. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, just one moment. Let us uh, to check here this part. One second. Okay, we're going to pass the attendance list a second time here. So you listen to your name, you say present. Alberto Ismael Fuentes. Present. Eh, Adriana Lisbeth Serna. Present. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Ana Mercedes. Amaya. Claudia Yesenia Palacios. Present. Uh, Donina Michelle Fuentes. Present. Edgar Gonzalo Chacón. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Guadalupe Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Helen Dionelli Barraza. Present. 
Javier Alexis Flores. Javier Alexis. Present teacher. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Eh, Catiel Mayrin Aguilar. Kevin Vladimir Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Man, uh, Manuel Alberto Romero. Present. Uh, Maritza Noemi Ayala. Present. Uh, Maritza Roxana Portales. Mauricio Orlando Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Monica Lisset Chicas. Present. Uh, Monica Lisset. Okay. Present. Thank you. Rosa Maritza Barrientos. Rosa Maritza Barrientos. Eh, Rosy Mabel Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Veronica Elizabeth Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. We're, we're, we're great. We're great with this. All right. Let's continue with the next part. We're going to talk about the use of, you know, this structure. So just one moment, please. Here, Look at this. Okay. We're talking about how to use prepositions of place. Como decíamos, the prepositions are words that help us or indicate us where the subject or the noun is located. Como lo sabemos, estas preposiciones nos indican eh, los lugares, nos indican puntos. Entonces, eso le llamamos prepositions of place. Those words that are help for connecting places, right? So, this is actually a part of this. Vamos con la siguiente. Let's go with the next one. Acá tenemos uh, the clear example. Prepositions of place, at, in, on. In general, we use at for point. For a point, we're going to use at. Para puntos específicos, utilizamos at, right? Por eso yo les decía, ah, I am at the bank, at the mall, at the church. I'm at the super, at the supermarket, I'm at the bank. Entonces, usábamos at para puntos de referencia. Number two, in. Cuando usamos in? In for enclosed space. Por eso yo les decía, usamos in cuando estamos como adentro de un lugar. Estoy adentro de mi vecindario. Estoy adentro del parque. Estoy en la casa. Por eso usamos in the living room. I am in the kitchen. I am in the bathroom. I am in the garage. I am at the, in the bathroom. So, entonces usamos in for enclosed space. Y on para referirnos a surface para referirnos a que estamos sobre algo, sobre una superficie. Por eso es que a, apunta bastante a que usemos on the main street, porque estamos sobre esa calle, estamos sobre esa avenida. Entonces decimos on the fourth street, on the main avenue, on the first avenue, on the second avenue, on the third avenue, on the fourth avenue. Entonces eh, vemos cómo está acá el estudio. Look at examples. Veamos los ejemplos. Tenemos... At the point, look at this. Okay, look at this one. Uh, at the corner, we have at the corner. Uh, como decía ahí, verdad, teacher, en la esquina, yes, at the corner, on the opposite corner, on the opposite side. At the bus station. Eh, ¿Dónde estás? Ah, estoy en la, en la, en la parada de buses. You know? At the bus stations. At the bus stop. Uh, at the door. At the top of a page. At the end of a road. At the entrance. At the crossroads. Crossroads. At the front desk. Entonces, todos estos nos indican eh, un lugar, un punto de referencia. En esquina. Eh, sobre la puerta, at the door, eh, at the end of the road, al final de la calle, at the entrance, estoy en la entrada, at the entrance, y, y eso es como parte de la estructura de, de at, like some other examples that we can add. In, eh, for enclosed space, like in the garden, estoy en el jardín, I am in the garden, que es parte de la casa, usamos in. 
para ciudades y países. In London, in Santa Tecla, in Paris, in Paris, or Paris, in Moscow, in France, in a box, in my pocket, in my wallet, in a building, para referirme que estoy dentro del edificio. I am in the, in the, in the building. In a car. In a car. Y tenemos para surface. On the wall. Sobre la pared. Ya es un, sobre una superficie. On the wall. On the ceiling. Sobre el cielo falso. On the ceiling. On the door. Vemos acá on the door. On the cover. On the floor. On the carpet. On the menu. On the page. Vemos algo bien interesante que está acá. Eh, look at this. Que está on the door y at the door. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de at the door and on the door? What is the difference between at the door and on the door? Una está por la puerta y la otra está dentro. Está Ajá. en el lugar, ¿no? O sobre la puerta. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. En este caso, at the door no, no significa de que yo voy a estar en la puerta, sino que el punto de referencia es que está, estoy parado sobre la puerta. You know, I, I, you know, I'm at the door, estoy en la puerta. Entonces está la puerta y estoy yo. Pero en la segunda ya, ya no me refiero que voy a estar a la par de la puerta sino que me refiere que algo está sobre la puerta. Entonces, por eso decimos on the door, porque algo está colgado sobre la puerta. Esa es la diferencia de at the door and on the door. That is the difference. And this is another, well, part of these structures. Vamos con la siguiente. Tenemos otros puntos de referencia, another point of reference. Y por eso es que vamos a... Okay, look at this one. At at home, at work, at school. Uh, look at this one. Look at the, the example here. Look at look at this example here. Uh, por ahí creo que se escucha un. Uh, Ayúdeme con los micrófonos, porfa. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. So we have at home, at work, at university, at college at the top, at the bottom, at the side, at reset. Entonces todos se refieren a un punto de referencia. Vamos con in. In a car, in a taxi, in a helicopter, in a boat, in a lift o in the elevator porque eso significa que estoy dentro del taxi in a car, I'm in a car now entonces está dentro del, del carro, en este caso dentro del taxi in a taxi, in a helicopter in a boat in a lift or in a ele an elevator in the newspaper, in the sky in a row in Oxford Street pero en este caso vemos que tendría que ser eh, On, ¿Verdad? Acá, pero aquí hay una pequeña como excepción, ¿Verdad? Una pequeña excepción que me refiero que está dentro de, de, de esa calle, está inmerso en esa calle. Por eso es que decía ahí en Oxford Street, pero para los puntos en general son on. Vamos con on, on a bus, on a train, on a plane, on a ship. On a bicycle, on a motorbike, on a horse, or an elephant, on, on the radio, on television, on the left, on the right, on the way. Entonces, eh, diferenciando in y on, in es cuando estoy dentro de algo y on es cuando estoy sobre algo, que es algo, algo distinto. Está sobre, on the bus, está en el bus, en el tren. Entonces, eh, that is actually very close, pero podemos ver la diferencia, como decíamos, eh, in es para lugares encerrados, es decir, yo quiero enfocarme de que estoy dentro de un lugar. 
y on es para referirme que está algo o alguien sobre la superficie de algo. Entonces, esa es la diferencia de las dos. Y at para ser el punto de referencia. So, that is the point. Teacher, una pregunta. Y cuando dice que está afuera de X lugar, siempre, aplica, eh, siempre se aplica la, la misma función. Es eh, ya cuando usted ocupa afuera, usted va a decir out. I'm out of the street. I'm out of the resection. Estoy fuera de la resección. Out of the. Así como en el chat. O esto, I am outside. Eh, o estoy fuera. I am. Entonces, para decir afuera, usted puede decir uh, out of o I am outside of. Estoy fuera de tal lugar. Look at this. Ok, gracias. Right. Eh, eh, otra, si quisiera yo unir eh, ante comer y voy a aplicarle el otro ahí que come afuera a ponerle afuera se puede conjugar eh, la palabra sí uh, out out of ya yeah. eh, estoy estoy en eh, the building I, I am out of the building estoy fuera del edificio por ejemplo I am um, out of the the out of the mall estoy fuera del del, del mall pero eh, acuérdense que at como preposición eh, eh, nos refiere al punto de referencia, ¿verdad? Claro, ya si usted eh, quiere utilizar out eh, también como un punto de referencia para decir que está fuera de un lugar, eh, también lo puede hacer. You can say ah, it. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, all right. For example, eh, si yo les pregunto, eh, where do you live? I live in, right? Para decir que está dentro de algo. Eh, what city? Ah, in, in what city? Talking about the cities. Ah, okay, I live in San Salvador, or I live in Santa Tecla, or I, I live in, in La Urdes, in El Salvador. Entonces, eh, siempre enfocándonos en lo que es países, you know, countries, lo usamos, right? On the, on the ceiling, on the door, in France, at the door. No sé, ¿alguna pregunta hasta este momento sobre esta parte? Retroalimentando, on es si está sobre algo, in es si está dentro, y at en punto de referencia. Exactly, exactly. Eh, aquí claramente nos dice, right, at point, in close space and on the surface. For example, hay unos, there are some doors that have like a kind of stick. There are some doors that have some sticks. Why those sticks? Because people can, can put some uh, hats at the top of the, of the, of the door, right? Hay, hay algunas puertas que tienen como unos ganchitos donde las personas ponen como sombreros, like uh, in other countries. Entonces, aquí nos aplica, en vez de decir, I'm at the door, I, it's on the door, en este caso, sobre la puerta, on the door. Entonces, aquí nos aplica on. Y in, like, in garden, in France, in London, in Russia, in Brazil, in Brasilia, in Argentina. We talk about that. Okay, let's work with one activity. I want you to help me to complete this part. Quiero que me ayude a completar esta parte. It says, complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. Para eso, yo les voy a dar unos minutitos para que usted piense un poquito acerca de cuál preposition of place do you think match exactly with each statement. Look at the example number one. I work in the bank that is First Avenue and Various Street. Their factory is located, uh, and you say this, uh, we see you training room or the cafeteria. Number four, Anna works in the company that is town. 
my relatives go to the mall that is Roosevelt Street. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. So for this one, we're gonna have a short practice. The goal is that you can socialize this uh, information together. Así que vamos a contestar esta parte rapidito. Vamos a contestarla eh, con sus grupos. Tenemos like a short time. Don't forget that is this exercise. That is the exercise, complete the location of each item using it, at, and on. Así que eh, este es el ejercicio que vamos a trabajar. Don't forget that uh, this material is in the group, in the WhatsApp group, so you can, you know, share uh, this information with your partners. Okay, let's work together y les voy a dar unos minutitos para que podamos completar this exercise. Let's do it. A Lisbeth, Adalberto, 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 And number one, I work in the bank that is. Come la puse ahí. Work Pero in me. the bank that is number one. Pero me que no me carga. Nice. Mm -hmm. What preposition? I work in the bank, First Avenue, and Barrel Street. Prepo preposition? Area on. Okay. And number two? Sería in. Okay. Number three. En la primera, si no me equivoco, sería at. Uh, yes. Sí. Y sí. la segunda sería in. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Number four. Eh, ese sería at no mm, teacher en en la number four is is in verdad está tau es de ciudad ya yeah. ya yeah. remember in. remember that is when it's related to city or to country we're gonna use it es in 
It's in. Yeah. Yeah. And in number five, Rosie. Sharia on de nuevo. Yes. And number six. Sharia in. Ahí tengo discrepancia. Yo he puesto on teacher. Si me corrige, si me he equivocado. Eh, tell him that we're on. Complétenlo y luego lo vamos ah. a socializar. Ya, yeah, complétenlo okay, okay. con ustedes y luego lo socializamos, right? Thank you, teacher. All right. Y Javier se fue. No, no está. Active. No, aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Active, Javier. Okay. Active. Pensé que estaba mudo. No, estoy revisando aquí qué es lo que va. Es preposition of place. El number one, ¿qué preposition? What preposition? Sería. Estaba revisando. Sería. Eh, sería sobre. Eh, on a cicle. O. Ah, no, pero aquí sí ya me, ya me perdí, pero ¿eh? Esta barra eh, dice que está sobre, sería la número cuatro, no, la cinco, ¿verdad? Number, number one, ¿cuál puso? Ah, eh, que sería donde Ana trabaja en la empresa, que... En number one. En esta, que puso? Number, en la última. Y no sé, quizás sería on, para mí sería on, pero no sé, on and, no, in creo, o oh, in, in at the meeting, from which everybody, hmm. uh. In we are in at uh, in so que okay, in es para ciudad y para lugares también recuerdo in the park mm. Uh -huh. En el vecindario, en la ciudad. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ah, pues sí. El número uno, entonces. I work in the bank that is on Pierce Avenue and Barrios Street. Sería la uno. Un. Una seis dice. Dile que estamos en la sala de reuniones con todos. Yeah. De, dentro de... Ah, pues sí. In. Estamos en una sala de reuniones. Uh -huh. o están reunidos, pues. Exacto. In. Sí. Entonces sería como at o in. No, in. En la 6. In. Pero, pero que no están dentro de... Como de la reunión. Yo lo puse Ajá. acá ahí en el traductor y me lo tradujo. Dile que estamos en la sala de reuniones con todos. Sí, es que el traductor a veces tiende a ser muy literal. Ah, ya estamos en el club.
Okay, let's uh, socialize the answers here together. We are going to work at the first one. Eh, estén atentos ahí también en el chat para que estemos eh, completando las, las oraciones. So I need your help with the number one. I work in the I work in the bank that is on First Avenue. In okay. Okay, we're going to use on, right? On First Avenue. Number two, the fact their factory is located. In, in yes, in La Libertad. Very good. Okay, let's try with the number three right now. What is the number three? We see you at at at, at, at in at training room or in in the cafeteria or at the cafeteria. Veamos si es un punto de referencia. What do you think? At, at. Yeah. En este at. caso estamos hablando como de puntos de referencia, right? Eh, entonces usamos at. A menos que le pongan, ya estoy en la cafetería, ¿verdad? Entonces ya puede que esté, you know, inside the cafeteria. En este caso es como puntos de referencia. Ok. Eh, number five. Ok, uh, my, oh. number four, number four, oh. I'm sorry, number four, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I was like jumping this one. All right, let's try. Uh, Anna works in the company that is? In town. All right, in cool. Town. Excellent, thank you. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is? Um. Um. Yes. Y la más fácil, la más fácil de todas. Number six. In. In. Yo le puse on, teacher. On at, ya está at, así que la respuesta era at. We are at the meeting room with everybody. So in this case, the answer that would be at. All right. No había que poner nada entonces. Ahí está. We are Por eso, on. como ya está. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we are at, at the meeting okay. room. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a little you know, tricky. That was tricky. No, that was a tricky. That was tricky. Okay, let's complete the, the next part. Create your own map with your workplace on it and the places, buildings, and others that surround it. Show and explain to, uh, your map to other partners. Vamos a trabajar en los pequeños grupos y usted va a crear su propio mapa del lugar donde se usted trabaja, usted va a imaginarse en este momento where is located the, your company, what places are next to, qué lugares hay alrededor de, de su lugar entonces usted va a crear en este momento su mapa y cuando usted lo tenga lo va a compartir con eh, sus compañeros si lo puede mostrar lo importante es que, que pueda mostrarlo si lo tiene en un cuadernito pues that would be awesome eh, usted lo muestra y explica un poquito dónde están. Ok, here is the park. Eh, it is in the Barrios Street and uh, Roosevelt or oh, Second Avenue. Eh, in front, it is a supermarket. Next to, there is another company. Um, eh, behind is the city hall. Entonces, usted va a explicar eh, los lugares que están alrededor de, eh, de su lugar de trabajo. This is what you have to do. This is actually, eh, it says, create your own map with your workplace on it and places, uh, buildings and others that surround it. Show and explain your map to other partners. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Para eso vamos a tener eh, 10 minutes to work in this. And we're going to work in groups right now. Vamos a formarlo ya en grupos. Y cada uno eh, va haciendo su mapa y cuando ya lo va teniendo, lo va explicando a sus compañeros. You will explain this uh, work to your partners. Entonces, por eso les ponía este ejemplo. Eh, that is a, a similar example here. Look at this. Entonces, podemos ver el ejemplo acá. De cómo se vería. Entonces, eh, ¿Tienen una pregunta sobre lo que vamos a hacer en este momento acerca del mapa? ¿No? Solo la ubicación de nuestro trabajo. Ajá, eh, van a hacer el mapa, van a dibujar el mapa 
eh, así, y qué ubicaciones hay, si hay alguna calle, cómo se llama la calle que pasa por ahí, the avenue, si hay alguna iglesia, si hay algún mall, si hay algún bank, si hay alguna otra, otra empresa, another company, y there is another restaurant. Así que eh, vamos a dar unos minutitos para que comiencen ya a crear su mapa, your map, y eh, faltando unos minutos vamos a formar los breakup rooms y usted va a compartirle su mapa a su compañero or classmate. All right, let's do it. I wish you good luck. Uh, well, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just say, teacher, I need to know something or I need your help. And I will be more than glad to help. Así que iniciamos con nuestro mapa.
Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. In a good time, it's okay. Okay, and let's share together uh, the map here. So we're going to, well, right now to work in small groups. Let me see how many members we have today. Uh, one second, please. Ok, vamos a compartir en este momento the map and you will explain the map to your partners where the things are located, is a main street and this one, right? So, así que y, y entramos ya a los breakout rooms and we participate in the activity. Maritza Yala. ¿Qué estaba comiendo? Este es el mío. De cámara. Este es mi map. Sí lo tiene. Ajá. Ahí está. Este. Nighting West Street. And. 21 West Street, MSL Brasil. El Bank Agrícola, Agrícola Los Santos. Okay. Esta es la Street Roosevelt. Acá está Channel Stop 4, Parada Canal 4. Okay. Luego está una Full Station, que sería una gasolinera. Adelante está Wet Terminal. A terminar el accidente. Eh, luego seguimos recto. Llegamos a District 4 of the Mayor's Office of San Salvador. Eh, la alcaldía de San Salvador, el Distrito 4. Eh, the City Hall. The City Hall, San Salvador. San Salvador City Hall. Mm, yes. Eh, 
Okay. Yo la encontré así. District 4 of the Mayor Office of San Salvador. Y a mano derecha está el workplace donde yo laboro. In the right mano... side, work, yeah, okay. Yes, eh, mano derecha, workplace. Y a mano, a mano izquierda está la Fear Street, que sería calle Los Abetos. Hice aquí mi mini, mini map. Excelente. Ok, eh, on the left sería eh, hacia la izquierda, on the left. And on, on the left. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Y on the right, on the, eh, on the right es a la derecha. Uh, just a comment, eh, on solo. The right. Yeah, on the right. Just a comment, please. I'm sorry for interrupting you guys. Okay. Eh, Kevin, okay, Kevin no Vladimir. Problem. Thank sí, you. Dígame. Eh, eh, hoy le correspondería a los 10 minutos de refuerzo, right? Ok, ok. Ok, así que al final ahí se quedan los 10 minutos. Thank you. Continue, guys. All right. Eh, Manuel, no sé si ya lo tendrá. Yes, we see the map. Si se los logra explicar. No eran ver. Sí. Okay. Sí, se logra ver. Um, sobre. No sé cómo se dice sobre. <laughs> of on. ¿Cómo? On. You on. say on the main street, on the. On the high, highway street, Pan Americans. Um, enfrente o a, a la par. A la par. <laughs> next to, next to. Next to uh, station, bus station to the. Eh, no sé qué otra cosa explicarle. Hay eh, como una bifurcación acá. Que es, están las dos carreteras. Una carretera que va para Chalchuapa y una para Candelaria en la frontera. Okay. Y ahí no, es, no hay mucho porque es solamente lo más... Re, digamos significativo es que está la parte de una, de una terminal de buses ok, a bus terminal a ah, bus terminal or a bus station too, alright that's cool and uh, yeah, how it's like uh, there are not there are not many companies around uh, there are not companies no hay como compañías a, alrededor no, no, de hecho hay cañales. Oh, lands. Oh, there are some. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it's it's like much better because there are no distraction of companies, people, you know, moving around. It's very quiet. Debe ser algo silencioso. It's a quiet place. Mm, ni tanto porque la carretera sí circulan. Es como una entrada a la, la ciudad de Santa Ana. Mm. Entran de las dos puntos de las dos carreteras de, de los que vienen de Candelaria y la frontera y los que vienen de Chachuapa. Ok, uh, the highway, right? Ok, the highway. Entonces vamos a decir highways. All right. Highway. Yes. Okay. Creo que se salió Kevin. <laughs> Ah, sí, ya no sé. Otra vez.
Okay, uh, we're going to pass the attendant list. So just give me one second. Thank you so much for the effort and also the participation about the activities. We're going to, well, definitely work in the activities. Uh, well, so we were going to have uh, uh, the 10 minutes with uh, Kevin, but I think he disconnected. Perhaps he got some problems with the, his internet connection. No sé si Edgar eh, podría hoy quedarse al final. Eh, ¿Es posible? ¿Edgar? Sí, teacher, está bien. Ok. Ah, bueno, ya se conectó. Ah, pues ya se conectó eh, por acá. Ok, ahí sigue con nosotros. Ah, pues no. Thank you. Ok, we're going to pass the attendance list. Uh, you listen to your name and you say present and we conclude the class today. So... Just one moment because we need to finish right away. And what time right now? Okay. Uh, uh, Alberto Ismael. Present. Adriana Lisbeth. Present. Ana Mercedes. Claudia Yesenia Palacios. Claudia Yesenia. Donina Michelle Fuentes. Present. Eh, Edgar Gonzalo. Present, teacher. Ok, Erika Guadalupe Castro. Present, teacher. Ok, Helen Dionelli Barraza. Helen Dionelli, Javier Alexis. Present, teacher. Ok, eh, Catiel Mayren Aguilar. Kevin Vladimir Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Ok, Manuel Alberto Romero. Present. Eh, Maritza Noemi Ayala. Present. Eh, Maritza Roxana Portales. Mauricio Orlando Carranza. Present, teacher. Eh, Mónica Lice Chicas. Present. Rosa Maritza. Rosy Maybell. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Sorto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you guys. Have a beautiful night to everybody. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Good night, teacher. You, it's a Good pleasure, night. guys. Good night. Good night. Gracias. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Ok, así que vamos saliendo y Kevin, ok Kevin, no le vemos ahí su rostro Kevin, no sé si tal vez la cámara creo. All right Kevin, thank you. Eh, ok Kevin, congratulations for the work done. Eh, is there any topic that you would like to eh, reinforce for the class? ¿Hay algún tema que usted considera pues que, que la ha comprendido un poco o que le gustaría reforzar o... Sí, pues ha, ha podido comprender todos los temas sin ningún problema por el momento. Pues en realidad sí, este, no, no entendí tanto sobre el add, in y on, pero, pero de hecho me puse a investigar un poquito más a fondo en internet y pues ya encontré más o menos las diferencias, ¿verdad? Eh, en cómo se utilizan y en qué momento. Ajá, eso estoy... Igual este, me voy a quedar estudiando un poquito más acerca de eso. Unos 15 minutos más solo para, para tenerlo ya. Eh, eh, para estar más seguro de cómo se utiliza. It and y para el tiempo, para tiempo. Por ejemplo, usted dice para tiempo. O, o it and para, para lugares. For place, preposition. Para lugares. Ok, vaya. Por ejemplo... Acá pudimos, eh, look at here the example. Como decíamos, cuando usamos at para point, it's indicating us that we are talking about a no that, that we are inside. It's like a place, a point, como un punto. Por ejemplo, si yo digo que yo estoy en el centro comercial, a mí me hablan, por ejemplo, y, y me dicen, y, y William, where are you? ¿Dónde estás, William? Entonces yo voy a decir, ah, I am at the mall. I am at the mall. Entonces, acá... Sería, sería dentro del lugar. Eh, no, en este caso, cuando usamos at, me refiero como a un punto de referencia. Es decir, no me importa tanto el, el que estoy adentro, sino que, eh, que ellos sepan 
las personas sepan a dónde estoy yo, el punto para que me encuentren. Ah, estás en el, estoy acá en la cafetería, entonces voy a irme al centro comercial, porque allá, allá estás tú. Entonces usamos I am, I am at the mall, right? Eh, I am at the mall. Entonces estoy en el, en el centro comercial, I am at the mall. Eh, I am at the church. Eh, estoy en la iglesia, entonces el punto de referencia, ¿cuál va a ser? La iglesia, right? It's going to be... La iglesia, la iglesia, claro. Ajá, the church, porque ese es, el, es lo que yo quiero dar a entender, es dónde estoy ubicado, por ejemplo, at the door, eh, significa que yo estoy a un costado de la puerta, estoy justamente a la parte de la puerta, entonces yo digo at the door, I am at the door, my brother is at the door, en este caso está en junto a la puerta o sobre la puerta. Eh, at the entrance. Aquí hay un, un ejemplo bien claro. Si usted ve acá dice at the entrance. Entrance significa entrada. Entonces eh, eso me ha pasado. De repente estoy buscando a alguien. Y entonces yo digo, hey, ¿dónde estás? Aquí, te estoy esperando aquí por la entrada. No sé si ya le ha pasado a usted. Cuando you're giving sí, a sí. reference. I, I, I am at, at the entrance. Uh, I am at the entrance. Entonces... Yo estoy en entrada, entonces usted eh, no le va a importar tanto que esté ahí, sino que le va a importar dónde poder encontrar a su amigo. Entonces eh, decimos, I am at the entrance. I am at the front desk. En este caso estoy en, en, la, en el escritorio principal. Entonces el punto de referencia va a ser the front desk. Para eso es, usamos at. Ah, in, sí, sí. Ajá, in es más sencillo porque in lo ubicamos para ciudades, cities. Usamos cities, usamos in para countries, para países o capitales. También lo ocupamos para lugares que están como estamos dentro de algo, por ejemplo, inside the house. Inside the house, dentro de la casa. ¿Cómo digo en inglés? Estoy en la cocina. Ahí en... The... Se me ha olvidado como... Kitchen. Oh. Ajá. I am... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yes. I am in the kitchen. En este Ahí caso... Sería como, como sí, o sea, como literal estoy en este lugar, ¿verdad? Por no Ajá. Decir... Ajá, exacto. Aquí ya no es tanto eh, el punto de referencia, sino que estoy, eh, ¿dónde estoy yo, verdad? I am in the kitchen. En este caso, para dentro de la casa se ocupa in, porque es un lugar dentro de, un, de una superficie. Aquí ya el, el enfoque ya no es un, un punto de referencia, sino que ¿dónde estoy yo adentro de tal lugar? Por eso es que decíamos, I am, I am, In the park. Aquí vemos que I am in the park, ya que el parque es amplio, entonces yo estoy dentro del parque. También veíamos que hablábamos acerca de I am in the neighborhood. O sea, estoy dentro del vecindario, dentro de mi colonia, como dicen. Entonces usamos in, porque son enclosed space, que son lugares cerrados. In the garden, in a box, en una caja, está dentro. In my pocket, está en, dentro de mi bolsillo. In a building, en un edificio. Eh, también serviría para, por ejemplo, eh, en la cafetería de algún lugar. O sea, en la, por ejemplo, en la escuela estoy en la cafetería de, sería in, ¿verdad? Siempre. En este caso, si está dentro de algún lugar, podríamos utilizarlo como in. O si usted quiere darlo a entender, que para que lo busquen, se encuentra ahí, usted va a ocupar at como en el ejemplo que vimos este, por ejemplo, eh, que vemos acá. Quiero ver, es este. Cuando preguntan, we see you at the training room. Eh, o we see you at the meeting room. En este caso, la número 6. At. Porque aquí el enfoque es que yo estoy en un lugar de referencia. Entonces, todo va a depender de qué lugar de referencia usted esté utilizando o lo, a lo que usted se refiera. At the cafeteria. 
I am at the cafeteria. Estoy en la cafetería porque este es mi punto de referencia, right? Pero si está dentro, eh, de, dentro de la cafetería, usted puede decir I am in the cafeteria. Porque el enfoque es que está dentro de la cafetería. Es como, por ejemplo, en el ejercicio que está acá. No sé si usted alcanza a ver al final que dice in a building. Yo estoy en un edificio. I am in a building. En este caso aquí, eh, no me estoy enfocando que estoy como referencia en el, en, el, en el edificio, sino que yo en realidad estoy adentro del edificio. Para decir inside in a building. Inside es... Dentro. Para referirse adentro. Ajá, adentro. Entonces, para no decir inside, voy a decir in a building. Okay. Y on eh, es más que todo para superficie, ¿verdad? Cuando nos referimos a superficies y calles. Como el ejemplo que está acá, miren. Eh, on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street, on the main street, on the second street, usamos on para calles y avenidas. At, para puntos, como por ejemplo, at the meeting room, at the cafeteria, at work, at the bank, at the mall, at the supermarket, at the movie theater, at the, at the, at the gym, at the church, para referirnos at. In, para countries, El Salvador, cities, the capital, San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Como decíamos, neighborhood, porque estoy adentro del, del vecindario. Y in the park, porque estoy adentro del parque. Y acá hay algunos detalles, por ejemplo, on the floor, que es on también lo ocupamos para, como para sobre. Eh, está en el piso, entonces sobre el piso es on, on, the, on the floor, on the carpet, está sobre la alfombra. It's on the carpet. It's on the menu, está sobre el menú. Oh, ok, está en el menú, ok, on the menu. Sí. On a page, está en una página, porque está sobre algo. Entonces, esa es como la, la diferencia. Esa es como la diferencia del it, at y on. No sé si hoy ha comprendido un poquito más eh, sobre la estructura o todavía considera pues que... Sí, de hecho me sirvió mucho este pequeño refuerzo y, y pues acá noté que at sería como para un punto de referencia. Uh -huh. eh, para ciudades, capitales o países. Y on como la superficie, it's on the table, está en la mesa. Y, Ajá. Y para, para, ¿dónde, está, ¿Dónde está el control? Está sobre la mesa o está sobre tal parte, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Y para qué? ¿Para esto que estoy encerrando acá? Sería para calles, eh, avenidas y corner, no sé qué es. En la esquina. Ah, ok. En la esquina, in the corner, on the corner, on the avenue, on the street. Entonces, eh, así quedaría conformado on, in y at. Ah, ok. Muchísimas gracias, teacher. Igual me este, voy a tomar más, un poco más de tiempo para poder grabármelo. Más. E e excellent. And also, we're going to continue tomorrow reinforcing this topic. Eh, mañana okay. todavía seguiremos reforzando este tema. Así que es como, como un, like, a, a part of this topic. Así que mañana seguimos reinforcing the topic. Ok. Eh, thank you so okay. much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful night. Ok, muchas gracias. Igual, bendiciones. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you so much.